Now I want to say something today that may be a bit controversial for some people to digest, and I'm okay with that. I want to suggest today that in our lives, ultimately, just about everything in our lives boils down to a choice. Each of us has the beauty, given by God, mind you, to wake up every single day and make choices. Anytime we start talking about making choices, it becomes hard because, you know, there are so many factors and dispositions and unfair advantages and oppressive situations that people can find themselves in. And I do not in any way seek to negate those realities. But I do want to offer today and deposit to you the idea that when it comes down to it, each of us is given the opportunity to make choices. Specifically today, I want to admonish you to choose your battles. David shows us a picture in his conflict with Nabal in 1 Samuel 25 that there are some fights that are simply not worth the strength, the energy, and particularly the anointing of the grace that's on your life. You have to be able to know when you are called and when you are chosen for something greater than the battle you're facing. And what it means is that sometimes you have to make a decision to walk away from your opportunity to avenge yourself, to retaliate, to get even. See, it's clear that God anointed David to fight battles, but I would suggest that God's anointing upon David or God's strength upon David to fight battles were about battles that were relative to the kingdom. Consequently, Abigail tells David, she reminds him that you fight the Lord's battles. And as a consequence, don't allow your conflict with my husband Nabal to end up being a blemish on your record. For after the Lord has brought to pass all that God has done, you don't want your conscience to be seared with this situation. And David shows us how to walk away. And because David walked away from that fight with Nabal, the Lord not only took care of the situation with Nabal, but the Lord even allowed David and Abigail to marry him. My point is that God can handle things a whole lot better than we can. Can I get a witness? And so I want to encourage you today and for the remainder of this strong week that I pray you have, that you will spend this week choosing your battles. Now here's the principle for how you can do that. Make sure that your passion is regulated by God's promise in your life and not the problems in your life. Don't let the problems around you get a rise out of you to the point that you negate, dismiss, or in some way distance yourself from the promise of God in your life. Remember at all times who you are and allow that promise of who God made you to be and what you are becoming to regulate and to restrict when necessary the decisions that you make. Because believe me, regardless of the fight you're in, there is a destiny over your head and there is a promise over your life choose your battles and let God fight for you what you want to fight if you will fight for God what God has called you to fight this is your momentum what are you going to